So in the previous video, we covered F1 and F2, and in this video, we're going to have a look at R1 today. I can compare two sets of data using the mean and explain my findings to an educated reader. So we've got a key information here. Step one, calculate the mean for the first set of data. Step two, calculate the mean for the second set of data. Step three, check which one has the higher mean to see who performed better. Pause the video here so you can take a note of this somewhere so that you can refer back to it whenever we're doing these type of questions. Let's have a look at a question. These are the results from a short quiz. Boys got 6, 2, 7, 8 and 2. Girls got 2, 7, 5 and 10. Did the boys or the girls perform better? You must justify your answer. Remember the key word here is justify. You have to show all of your working out. So step one here is that we need to calculate the mean for the first set of data. So the first set of data in this case is the boys. So remember to calculate the mean, we must add up all of the numbers for step one. And for step two, we then need to divide by how many numbers there are. And in this case, there are five numbers. For step two, we're then going to find the mean for the girls. So we're going to do the same thing we did in our fluency to calculate the mean once again. So that means the girls have a mean of six. For step three, we're now going to have a look at which one has the higher mean to see who performed better. So when we compare both of the means, the boys have a mean of five and the girls have a mean of six. We can clearly see that the girls mean is higher, so we're going to circle that. When we compare the girls mean, they have a higher mean of six. Finally, therefore, the girls did better because they have a higher mean. And remember, the higher mean means that they've done better. So referring back to the question, remember, we were asked to justify and then to write down who did better out of the boys and girls. And we've done exactly that. Here's a question for you to do. Pause the video here. Here's the solutions. Make sure that you self-assess your work. So as you can see, the boys mean here is 45. We found it by adding up all the numbers and then dividing by four as there are four numbers for the boys. For the girls, the mean is equal to 28. And then we found the mean by adding up all the numbers and then dividing by four once again as there are four numbers for the girls. Finally, we can see that when we compare the boys have a higher mean of 45 because we've got 45 against 28 and clearly 45 is higher. And therefore, the boys did better because they have a higher mean. And don't forget to justify your answers. That's going to be the end of our one and what we're going to be covering for today. And that's the end of this video.